Okay, question eight. The point P and Q. Um, you have to be really polite with this question. Mind P and Q's. Yeah. Lie on the curve with this equation. The tangents of the curve at P and Q are parallel, Ooh, each having gradient 3 eighths. Bless you. Show that the x and y coordinates of P and Q are such that x equals 2 y. Right. We need to get our head around what's going on. It's all about gradient, isn't it? So if it's about gradient, we must be having to differentiate. So let's differentiate. So if we differentiate with respect to x, we're going to get, uh, well that's 4x, isn't it? Minus, now this is a product, it's 5x times y, so it is the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. That's how we do the product rule. Um, y squared is going to be 2y dy by the x. 9 goes to 0, and 0, of course, goes to 0. So that's, that's what we've got for our differentiation. We've got 4x minus 5x dy by the x minus 5y plus 2y dy by the x. Now, hang on, where are we going with this? Um, what we are interested in is when the gradient is 3 eighths. That's what happens at P and Q. Now actually what we could do at this point, it would be a bit of a radical thing to do, we're interested in dy by the x being 3 eighths, so we could just sub dy by the x for 3 eighths. Should we do that? No. You want us to find what dy by the x is. Right, okay, I'll do it that way. But I, I maybe would have bit of a crazy step, but I might have done that. So what we've got, 2y minus 5x dy by dx is 5y minus 4x. Are we happy with that? So dy by dx is 5y minus 4x over 2y minus 5x. And we are looking for when dy by dx is 3 eighths. That means that 3 eighths is 5y minus 4x over 2y minus 5x. That number there was a 5, but somehow it ended up looking extremely 6-ish. There we are. Um, how can we tidy this up? We need to end up with a simple relationship between x and y. Uh, so we've got 3 lots of 2y minus 5x is 8 lots of 5y minus 4x, if we multiply through. 6y minus 15x is 40y minus 32x. Collecting like terms together, that gives us, what does it give us? 17x is 34y, so x is 2y, as it was suggested. x is 2y. <laughs> uh, hence, find the coordinates of p and q. So our final stage is now to say uh, we're going to sub x equals 2y back into the original equation. And the original equation was 2x squared minus 5xy plus 4y squared plus 9 equals 0. So sub that in gives us 2 times 4y squared minus 5 times 2y times y, plus y squared plus 9 is 0. I'm going to end up solving this for y first, and then we'll get the x values from that. Um, of course, I'm expecting two y values, aren't I? Because it's the points P and Q that we're looking for. 8y squared minus 10y squared plus y squared plus 9 is 0. That's all nice and convenient. We've got, we've got lots of nice things going on here. Um, we're heading for plus or minus 3, are we? We've got minus y squared plus 9 is 0. y is plus or minus 3 out of that, which leaves us with, therefore, uh, if y equals 3, x equals 6. If y equals minus 3, x is minus 6. And we've got the points, what did it actually ask us for? The coordinates of P and Q, 
So in either order, the coordinates are 6, 3, and minus 6, minus 3. Great. That was good, wasn't it? And that's maths. <laughs> <laughs>